Hey Cancer, it's time for your love reading. It is time for your love reading. Now I'm just gonna dive right into it. Right now I'm shuffling the cards, so we're gonna chat a little. So previous to this video will be Aries, but I already put up Taurus and Pisces, so if you're a lover is any of those signs, those videos is up for you to watch, or if you have any of those placements, those videos are up for you to watch. I also have a financial reading up as well as an all signs love reading. The financial reading is all signs as well. What else? My website will be launching soon. <laughs> Let me share that. My website will be launching soon. So y'all will be able to buy your healing crystals on the website as well as other products. But Cancer, what's going on in your love life? Let's see. I'm already feeling like a confused type of energy. I'm not going to lie. I'm already feeling a confused energy. Okay, well, that's outside. So don't mind that. But anyways, yeah, I'm feeling like a confused energy or like an indecisive energy. So Cancer, how does your person feel about you? How does Cancer's person currently feel about the Cancer? You could be dealing with the Scorpio. The Scorpio came out reversed. Let's see. Prince of Cups, Death Card Reverse, The World Reverse. All right, this is already giving me the vibe of the Aries reading. I'm not even going to lie. I see that. Cancer, it looks like your person wants to make an offer to you, whether it be a gift, an apology, some type of offer, maybe even an offer of commitment and engagement, some type of offer they want to give you because they feel you slipping out of their fingers with the World Card. The World Card is reverse and you can see that like the person you know they have the world in their hand but it's upside down so it's like you know imagine you're upside down the world is slipping out your hands the world is falling out your hands it's upside down so <laughs> they feel like you're sleeping slipping out of your out of their hands it's like you're you're like slowly slipping away you're slowly distancing yourself with the death card i see that they are death card reverse so prince of cups and death card reverse i see that they're going to um my kitten is crying. Let me let him in before he ruins the video. Okay, so yeah, with the Prince of Cups and the Death card reverse, Leo says hello. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I see that they're going to make some type of offer because they don't want things to change in the connection. They don't want it to change in any type of way. So it's like, okay, to prevent my person from leaving me or distancing their self from me, let me make this offer that I know that they want, that I'm sure that they want. Let me, you know. It could even be them spilling their heart out even like it could be them sharing their feelings like maybe they're very nonchalant or just very private um or just not affectionate at all in general and it's like okay let me share my feelings with my person so um like they can see how much i love them so they can stay so things won't change like with the eight of disc is at the bottom of the deck they want to work on things they want to work on things they don't want things to change at all how else does cancer's person feel about the cancer how else okay let me pick up this other card. I lost myself for a little while. The timing just wasn't right for us. I left when I saw you with someone. So this part isn't going to be for everyone. I feel like it's definitely like probably three different groups. Three, di three different groups within these three different cards. Wow, that was a tongue twister. I lost myself for a little while. I feel like... I feel like in past connections, they lost themselves. So it's like they built up this wall to prevent themselves from, you know, from losing their self, from losing who they are, from feeling like they're losing their purpose. So it's like they built up this wall and it's like their feelings, they just couldn't share their feelings. They couldn't let their feelings out because they don't feel comfortable being vulnerable. They feel like, okay, if I allow myself to be vulnerable, this person is going to use it against me. For others of y'all, the timing just wasn't right for us. Some of y'all things did end, but with the death reverse, like I said, your person didn't want things to end at all like i see that if y'all did separate y'all will come back together um and then the third group i left when i saw you with someone so that could be why the world card is reversed like they could have felt like like maybe they seen a comment on one of your pictures or maybe they seen a text in your phone or a call on one of your phone or even a contact name that had them like oh my god they're dealing with someone else oh my god there's someone else in the picture and it's like their world literally just turned upside down it like made them sick to their stomach and they were just stressing so much that it just felt like their world went upside down when they seen you with someone else 
like I said, it doesn't even have to be physically seeing you with someone else. It could have just been a contact name, like, like, like Lewis with a heart and whole time that's your cousin Lewis, like something like that. So I don't really feel like they, um, your person seen you with someone else. For some of y'all, they may have seen you with someone else physically, but for others, I don't really see that. I just see that it's like they got in their own head. They got in their own head and it's like, they let their self get the best of them. So Cancer, how do you feel about your person? How does Cancer feel about their person? Ooh, too many cards. How does Cancer feel about their person? Let me get two more cards. How does Cancer feel about their person? One more card. Let me get one more card. Ooh. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The devil came out reversed. Three of discs, six of swords, the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay, three of discs. You want to work on things. You want things to get better. You definitely want to work on things. Um, you have hope that things can be worked out only if this person lets go of their negative characteristics or their negative traits. Maybe they deal some type. Maybe they deal with some type of addiction. Maybe they're just very mean, very rude, very harsh. Maybe there's physical or emotional or mental abuse, and it's like. You have hope that they can change. And if they do change, you're definitely willing to work on it. How else does Cancer feel about their person? Stop, Leo. One more card. Yeah, so a good amount of y'all are in separation. A good amount of y'all. Okay, we both know I am not the one for you. So you're feeling like... Okay, Cancer you're feeling like they're really not for you but you have hope that they can be the person that you want it's like you really feel like they're not the one for you y'all aren't meant to be but you're hoping that things will change in the future things will change eventually with the i am becoming a better person if they become a better person i wonder if you are happy without me for the ones that are in separation cancer it looks like you're wondering if they're happy without you um, you probably see their social media and you probably see them out and about partying or just out and about in general and it's like I wonder if you're happy without me I wonder if you know like you forgot about me type of thing that's what you could be thinking cancer and then I couldn't let you get close to me I feel like this is their energy like you know that they couldn't let you get close to them and it's like you understood that you were you know working on things you were willing to work on it you were willing to try but it just, it just didn't work out. But I see that you're definitely hopeful on making the connection work. So let's see the outcome. What is the outcome between Cancer and their person? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. The Temperance came out. Okay, Four of Disc, Temperance, Queen of Disc. Okay, so the outcome, it looks like y'all are not letting each other go. Y'all are going to work on it. I see that y'all are going to both equally put in effort or try to put in effort, both of y'all. And with the Queen of Disc, I see that someone here is going to focus more on their finances, though. It's like, yeah, y'all are going to try and make it work, but one of y'all, I don't know who it is, but one of y'all are going to focus more on your finances, more on your business. Someone could be... um Cancer, you could be planning to start your own business, to launch your own business. <laughs> and I see that you should. With the queen of this, that lets me know that you would definitely be successful in what you're doing, especially with the rabbit right there. That's good luck. Like luck is on your side. God is on your side. I see that if you are thinking about creating your own business, definitely do that. Definitely put in, plan it, put in the actions, you know, do what you got to do. I definitely see that you should start your own business most definitely. And then the judgment card is here. Clarification on the judgment card. Clarification on the judgment card. Leo, stop. Clarification on the judgment card. Let me get one to two cards as the clarifier. Justice. You could be dealing with a Libra. Judgment and justice. You could be dealing with an Aries as well. Hmm. I feel like, Cancer, you're just going to go with the flow right now. It's like, yeah. You want to hold on to your person and you will be willing to make things work. You will be willing to put in the effort to make things work eventually. But I also see that you're going to be going with the flow. It's like you're not going to force it. If it's not going to work out, if you see it from the jump, okay, this is already not working out. I see that you're just going to take it for what it is. It's like, okay, fuck it. Like, it just wasn't meant. It just isn't meant. And you're just going to keep it pushing because with the justice card, you know that something, whoever is meant for you will come to you. So it's like you sort of don't want to really stress yourself over this connection with this person because 
eventually you will meet the person that's for you you know that you feel that in your heart what is it that cancer and their person okay so cancer we're gonna see what is it that you and your person want to say to each other that y'all just don't feel comfortable sharing okay okay let me just get one more card okay four cards came out i feel you leaving me behind that's definitely how y'all both feel oh we will be together again okay i'm not available i see that one of y'all view the other as not available as unavailable it doesn't even have to be because y'all are dealing with other people or someone is dealing with another person it could really just be that you feel like the other isn't available because they're not giving you attention or they're not giving you they're not putting in the effort so it's like they must be dealing with someone else they must be seeing someone else because why else wouldn't they want to be with me type of thing and then you don't know how hard it was to let go it was very hard for whoever to let the other go um it's like it really took a lot out of them i don't even want to say it really took a lot out of them it's more like they really had to prepare themselves to do that. It's like they really had to sit down and tell themselves, okay, I'm going to let this person go. We're going to let this person go. You're not going to stress about it. You're not going to cry about it. You're not going to go and chase them. Like, it's time to let this person go. And whatever happens, happens, especially with the justice card. It's like, whatever happens, happens. If it's meant, they will come back. If it's not, then someone better will come along. Um, but the card that's really sticking out to me is we'll, we will be together again. That lets me know that the future slash outcome spread was correct. Y'all are definitely going to put in the work with one another. Y'all are definitely going to try and make things work with one another. So that's good. Leo wants to say hello again. Leo, say hi. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, make sure y'all check out the other videos. And thank you. Thank you for supporting. Bye, you guys.